Hey guys, Coach Michelle here uh, at Motivational Coaching by Michelle with your daily tip. Today I wanted to talk about falling off the wagon. Um, we all fall off the wagon. We're not perfect. We are human. Uh, but the key is to get right back on track and not let your slip become a slide. Um, even if it's a few days, it's okay. You want to get back right away so that you don't have those regrets and at the end of the month you're like, oh my God, what's going on? So here are a couple of tips to help you get back on the wagon today and some things that I do when I fall off the wagon. First of all, you definitely do not want to beat yourself up because that's the worst thing to do is have negativity, negative self-talk and sit in the mirror and look at yourself and tell yourself that you're unhappy and what you don't like and just everything runs through your head that you're very upset and mad about what you've done. You cannot um, go backwards. You cannot change the past. You can only look forward and focus ahead. So the first thing you need to do is lose the negativity and focus on the positive and, uh, and refocusing, not beating yourself up. You also need to just pick yourself up and say, you know what, I'm ready, I'm committed, I'm going to do it. And you need to get refocused and get on track right away. And the first thing is you probably you need to go through your pantry, your refrigerator, your freezer, and clear everything out because things have probably snuck back in there again. Uh, things that are probably your trigger foods and things you picked up at the grocery for your kids that you're noshing on now. So go ahead and make a clean sweep. Get rid of everything that is going to deter you from your goals. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to start tracking your food again. If you have not tracked your food before, then by gosh, you need to start doing this. It's so super simple with your smart devices now. Um, a lot of free apps, Lose It, My Fitness Pal are just um, two that I really like that I recommend to my customers. Um, it's an easy way to track your food. Start tracking your food again. See um, if you're having more calories than you should be, where your percentage of calories are coming from, where your red flags are. So track your food again so you keep yourself accountable too. Um, you also want to uh, schedule in your exercise. You got to schedule your exercise just like you would an appointment. It's an appointment with yourself, for yourself, and you got to do it for you. So set aside that 30 minutes. That's really all you need. If you're following a program, then set aside whatever it is, your 10-minute trainer, 10 minutes, your 30 minutes, your T25, 25 minutes, whatever it is, an hour at the gym. I don't know what you do. Whatever you do, though, plan it out and um, put it on your calendar. Make sure you get your exercise in. You also want to be planning your meals. If you're not, start doing that again. Take out a blank planner, seven day. Figure out what you're having for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Look at your schedule for the week. What are you doing? Um, what do you have going on for the week, um, for work, for your kids? Um, are you running around? Do you have baseball practice? Anything like that that your kids are doing? And plan around that. Figure out if you got to do a crock pot one night, whatever it is, have leftovers, but figure out and plan ahead. Just pick a day, any day during the week, sit down for 30 minutes, figure out what your plan is for your meals and get it done. And finally, find yourself some accountability. I think accountability is so key. Um, if you have <clears throat> someone or a group, I have um, several groups that run for accountability and support, or um, sometimes I'm just helping my customers one-on-one -on -one help them stay accountable. I'll text a couple uh, customers from time to time how they're doing, or they text me, or they email me. Whatever it is, find some kind of accountability that's going to hold you accountable. Maybe it's just posting um, on Instagram, on your account every single day, your workout or your meals for the day. Some type of accountability is really going to help you stay focused and on track too. So those are a couple of the things and tips and tricks that I do when I fall off the wagon. And again, it's, it's natural, but the key is the people who are more successful than those that aren't are the ones who pick themselves up and get back on track right away, either with that next meal or that next, um, the next day. But don't wait, don't wait too long because then you just dig yourself into a hole and you really don't want that. You don't have to keep starting over and over and over again. It is a lifestyle change and you want to just make those changes. You want to make those baby steps and you want to keep moving forward um, one step at a time. So again, if you need any help, I am here to help you. I would love to be part of your fitness journey, your weight loss journey. 
and um, I struggle just like you. I am just like you. And I welcome anybody who would love some help. And again, please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any other tips or tricks for when you fall off the wagon, I would love to hear them too. And if you're not following me yet on social media, I am at Motivational Coaching by Michelle. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. I don't know. I got a bunch of different things. But anyway, just come find me. Be part of my community. I would love to have you. And I hope you have a great day.